Lohan. I'm Steven Sanzari. Ahoy, land lovers. I'm Michael Bartosik. I'm going to be honest with you, Mike. That is a horrible Halloween costume. Like, one of the worst I've ever seen. Back at you, Steve. I'm not wearing a costume. Oh. Let's head over to Jonah to explore more about Halloween and why you can't have stuff like this. Hey, you. Who, me? Yeah, you. You, uh, you like candy? Yeah. You like, uh, dressing up? <laughs> yeah. Well, it's Halloween. <laughs> wow. You want to get ready for it? <laughs> yeah. All right, well, uh, let's, uh, let's go. Okay. <laughs> let's get you the best costume we can, but remember, don't break any of the school rules. Hey, nice costume, but, um, make sure you don't have any sharp objects like that one in your hands. All right, yeah, that's, uh, looking pretty sweet. Let's go learn some more stuff. Now remember, just because it's Halloween doesn't mean you can skip class. Hey, where do you think you're going? And unfortunately, the Jolly Rancher rule still does apply. Whoa, 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 hey, enough. Just because it's Halloween does not mean you can have more than two. In the halls, resist the urge to scare people. <laughs> Freshmen are people too. And, uh, one last thing. When you're trick-or-treating... Oh, can I help you? Trick-or-treat! Make sure it's Halloween. Uh, it's not Halloween yet. What? It's what? not Halloween yet. I don't even have my costume on. <laughs> wow, that was insane, Mike. Can we play it again? Actually, we have other stories to get to. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry, man. I'm just upset. I got a speeding ticket yesterday. Oh, that's funny, because I'm pretty sure you don't even have your license. Who said I was driving? Okay, um, let's kick it into first gear and find out more about Daniel Han's next generation, Ricky Bobby. Among all the students at Daniel Han, only one is qualified to call himself a world champion. Devin O'Connell is continuing to pursue his dreams as a race car driver. With his talents, Devin's future is looking bright. We met up with Devin to get the inside scoop on his career. I woke up this morning, time I up. Here with Devin O'Connell outside the big halls. So Devin, how did you get into racing? Well, um, when I was five years old, actually, there was a girl in my kindergarten class who uh, was racing what was called a quarter midget, basically a go-kart. And, uh, I begged my dad for four years, and it was something I just really wanted to do. So um, after about four years, my dad said, Devin, you bugged me enough, okay? Let's get into this. We moved up to Madison, and we found a track over at Stafford, Connecticut. Very nice, Devin. And um, do you have any achievements or goals for the future? Yeah, my goal, obviously, is to make it as far as I can. Hopefully, that's NASCAR Sprint Cup. And uh, next year, my goal is to hopefully win Rookie of the Year in the American Canadian Tour Late Model Series. Um, along with get some top five finishes in the, what's called a pro stock, which is basically the late model with more horsepower, better suspension, so on and so forth. Now, Devin, do you have any sayings you may use on the racetrack? My two favorite are drive it like you stole it and hammer down. You got to push the car as hard as you can. You got to be on the edge of out of control every single corner, every single lap. And uh, whoever's the one doing that, that's the person you're going to see in victory lane. Devin, do you have any moves or tactics while racing? Well, there's a couple I have. You, number one is the bump and run, where you literally just uh, go up to a driver's bumper. And in a Legends cars, this is a very common move, uh, and you literally just push them right out of the way. Uh, you know, that's mainly a short track move, so on tracks smaller than a quarter mile. Do you have any rivals when you're on the track? Uh, my number one rival is probably my teammate. Um, he, uh, we were both going for the national title, and uh, even though we're teammates and we run the same equipment, we pretty much give each other the most, I guess you could say, <laughs> racetrack out of everybody. <laughs> Nice to hear. Devin, how can we follow your racing updates? Well, you can check out my website at devinoconnellracing.com. Uh, look me up on Facebook at Devin O'Connell Racing, Twitter at underscore Devin O'Connell, and my Instagram's the exact same. So check out my social media, check out my website, and you can see what's going on in the racing world. That's one sweet hot rod. We wish the best of luck to Devin and the rest of his racing journey. On the contrary, have you ever wondered what's in the teacher's lounge? No, not really. They probably just eat the Michelle Obama food like the rest of us. No, they have napkins, man. 
Right. Now that I think of it, there are many places and things in the school that I've wondered about. Let's check in with Reed to explore Daniel Han's unknown territories. What's in the... What's in the... Here's a paper from 2009. Some girl wrote a nine-page uh, paper on the causes of the Russian Revolution. I'll get to it this year. A, D, a, a set, a VH set on uh, Woodstock where Mr. Salutary was born. I can't wait to show it to him one day. Homemade jam, which I give in lieu of grades. Vermont cheese, my muffin. In case lessons run dry, we could turn on the overhead. And lastly, I have some peanut butter, which I like to share with my good friend, Nurse Konarski, at every possible opportunity. Thank you for asking. I really can't tell you. I can give you part of the ingredients but I only share with you once you graduate. But um, I can tell you that there's water in it. Sometimes I use my hair as a third pocket. Like, for example, here's my watch. Here's my writing utensil. And uh, yesterday's lunch. <laughs> Right on. So Steve, what are you hoping to get in your Halloween bag? Mike, I'm hoping to get my two front teeth. Alas, matey, that's the wrong holiday, but there's always next year. See you, Hand, and have a happy Halloween.